Hello, humans. Today, I'm going to be doing a house tour slash Q&A where I answer questions around my house. So, let's get into it. Okay, the first room is the living room. As you can see, we have a dog permanently stationed in our living room. Her name is Casey. She's blind and deaf, and she probably has cancer. We're going to answer questions in a different room because this room is in use. Let's travel! Here is, well, okay. We don't know what this room is. It's supposed to be a dining room. Oh, it's not. I don't know. Here's, here's where I do my homework and play with my squishy. And here's where I do homework. And here's our Christmas tree. Now, let's answer a question. I found this thing online where you can, like, have questions. So let's find one. <laughs> so the question is, who do you truly love? And my answer is Santa. I love Santa. <laughs> okay, do you miss anyone or anything right now? And my answer is Santa. Today is the 26th, and Santa came a whole day ago, and I miss him so much. Let's do one more question in this room. The question is, are you hungry 24-7? And my answer is no. Sometimes I'm thirsty. Let's go to a different room now. Here's the dining room. Let's turn on a torch. Now time to answer some questions. This is giving me flashbacks to that other video. Which you should watch. If you have it. Ooh, okay. Here's a good one. What are your hobbies? I have several hobbies which include thrashing, playing with my squishy, which Julianne got me for Christmas, and a real hobby of mine is ice skating, figure skating. Ooh, what do you want to do when you grow up? <laughs> I want to be Santa. <laughs> Just kidding. Santa's too mythical for me to be. <laughs> I want to be an environmental engineer, aka a geoengineer. I think they're the same thing. What funny story? Um, I said that like I wanted to be a geoengineer for a couple years now, but for like the first year of saying that I wanted to do that, I had no idea what a geoengineer was until I looked it up and I was like, oh yeah, I kind of do want to do that. A geoengineer, they save the world. They stop climate change and they, uh, save the world, you know. Jessica! Here's my cat. These questions just got deep. Wait. This one says, picture the, <laughs> picture the last dead person you know. Anyway, I think that's enough of these questions. Let's move to a different room. Okay, so here is the kitchen. This is where we consume food and water. As you can see, we are obsessed with Santa. Anyway, let's answer some questions. Let me sit in the hot seat. Oh, here's some cookies that we made. They're good. Anyway, so I found another website because that website was kind of weird and I ran out of normal questions. So um, let me read the, first, the beginning statement on this website. 
Once again, it's specifically for YouTube Q and A's. The aim of the aim of the about me question tag is to, to give your stalkers more information about you so they can finally stop tailing your car. I'd say start with your house address, but your stalkers already have that information. Let's answer some questions. <laughs> okay, what is my eye color? Green. What is my hair color? I'd like to say it's a neutral rainbow because I've, I've searched through that mess many times and found strands of all different colors. So, neutral rainbow. Ooh, what is my favorite color? Light blue violet. It's a pretty color, but it's like very close to gray and gray is the ugliest color in the world. And I hate it. But so, I don't know. My least favorite color and my favorite color are very close. It's kind of weird, but we should probably go in a different room. This is the downstairs bathroom. It's, it's a whole aesthetic. Let's read a question. This one says, what was my favorite subject in high school? I'm still in high school, but my favorite subject... It's tied between math and science. I don't know. I can't pick. I used to be obsessed with math, but now it's equal. Are you high maintenance? <laughs> I don't know. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Cats are better. Dogs smell bad, especially ours. Who has left the most impact on your life? Santa. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. We're upstairs now, in case you were curious. Can I do a split? Yes. I used to be so unflexible. And then last year I started flexing. So now I'm slightly more flexible. And I can do a split. I just kicked my phone. Do you have a catchphrase? I don't know. Thrashing. That's not really a phrase, but it's my catchphrase. It's my catch word. <laughs> Who would you tell first if you found a dead body in your garden? Um, the police? How many oceans have you swum in? One. <laughs> the Atlantic Ocean. It's a fun ocean. <gasps> what? This question says, how old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? What? Santa is real. How dare they? <laughs> Have you ever ridden on a motorbike? No, <laughs> what's a motorbike? Let's go somewhere else. Hey, this is my parents' room. Um, that was Jessica. I didn't meow. Hi, Jessica. She knows how to thrash, too. This is where they live, work, eat, sleep, and play. This room. <laughs> Let's answer some questions. What is the worst grade you got on a test? 70% in chemistry. But that might change soon when the new grades come out. What is on the walls of the room you are in? Curtains and uh, paint. Paint's on the walls. Where do you buy your jeans? Walmart. What is the first thing you do when you get home? Um, I unlock the door. What is the first thing you do when you open your eyes in the morning? I breathe, and after that, I get out of bed. Ooh, what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I like sci-fi with a touch of romance. Just a touch. Just a touch. 
What book are you reading at the moment? Well, right now, I'm not reading a book. Like, right now, like at this second. But about 10 minutes ago, I was reading, um, I don't know, some romance. It was good. What is the last film you saw? Hmm. The last film I saw was the Sister Squad special with the Dolan twins, Emma Chamberlain, and James and James Charles last night for a couple hours with my sister on our TV. It was a great film. Let's go to a different website and a different room. Hey guys, this is my room. Let's begin. Oh, first, here's my fabled sock drawer. It is my prized possession. I have many socks and I got these socks for Christmas and I got new socks today at Walmart because Walmart's the best. I'll sit here. <laughs> um, okay, so I found a website. Here's a good question. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? If I was a boy, my parents would have named me Jeremy. You say it Jeremy, but I like, I can't say that fast, so I'm glad it's not my name or else I'd be telling everyone my name is Jeremy. Anyway, let's put this down and answer some basic questions, because I haven't done that yet. Um, my favorite music, I listen to pop, but it's obscure pop, because I'm cool. Um, it's, it's really weird. Well, okay, there's Forever In Your Mind. They're my favorite band. I met them in August. Ricky, Liam, Emery. And they signed it, and it's them. So that's my favorite band. My second favorite band is Pretty Much. I don't have a poster. Um, I haven't met them. I was going to skip school on Monday and go to Pennsylvania, but my parents wouldn't let me. <laughs> Uh, I listen to pop. My favorite food <laughs> is dessert. <laughs> I like anything sweet. But like, my favorite meal is tacos. I like tacos. What grade am I in? I'm in 10th grade. Oh, I have a good one. Um, I just made this up. What year was the best year of your life? Third grade. I remember third grade because I didn't have any homework and all I did was go to knitting club and it was so fun. But I mean, it's fine. Jessica's just following me everywhere. She's my stalker. Why do I keep thrashing like this? Someone saved me <laughs> from myself. Um, so I can't disclose any information about my whereabouts, but what I can say is that I live on the earth, I know, surprising, and I live in the United States of America. <laughs> it's so fun. Are you married? No. Not yet. <laughs> I might find Santa. <laughs> Track him down and get married. How tall are you? I am like 5'7 and a fourth? I don't know. 5'7 and 3 fourths? Something like that. Favorite TV show? Alexa and Katie. It features Forever in Your Mind. And season two came out today. And I'm really excited to watch every single episode in the next couple hours. Favorite book series is Across the Universe. I don't know who it's by. But I love it, especially the third one. Favorite movie? Okay, there's like a lot that I like, but I'll tell you some of my favorites. To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I've seen that a lot since it came out, and I'm excited for the second one. Um, Geostorm, that's really good. And Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, boy! I bought that for $26 at Walmart and it was so worth it. Fun story about that, but let's 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 sit somewhere else to make it a little bit. Let's sit by my sock drawer for this story. Buying Spider-Man Homecoming was an adventure. My sister and I went to Walmart one afternoon 
and we found the movie section, and we searched long and hard, and we finally found Spider-Man Homecoming. But it was encased in one of those, like, plastic clear things. And we were like, it's fine, we'll just, you know, buy it. So we went to self-checkout. Big mistake, because what was going to happen as a result of that will never be forgotten. And, and we bought it at self-checkout. Self we didn't take it out of the case, and then we tried to leave the store, and the alarm went off. And, like, the person who was standing at the front of the store, because, you know, there's always someone there at Walmart, she looked at our case, and she looked at our movie, and she saw that it still had a case on it. And she didn't say anything, because, like, we didn't know at the time, but you're not supposed to have the case on. You're supposed to take it off in the store. But she just let us go. She was like, it's fine, you can just go, I know you're not stealing it. So we went home, and then I went to obsessively watch it over and over, and I couldn't get it out. And then we asked our parents, and they were like, you're supposed to take off the case at the store. Why didn't they do that? So we trekked all the way back to Walmart, and they chastised us about having the case on. And they took it off, and it was a whole big adventure, and never will we use self-checkout again. Just kidding. <laughs> you said just kidding, like, the whole story while you were kidding. <laughs> oh, I wasn't kidding about the whole story. I was just kidding about not using self-checkout. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. I'm taking a shower. An air shower. Anyway, this is our bathroom. Um, let's answer some questions. What's my favorite gadget? <laughs> I don't know who has my favorite gadget. This one is one that I came up with years ago. It is, what is your favorite adaptation? And I actually have a favorite adaptation. There are these trees that have like a little leaf encasing, <laughs> um, like the seeds or berries or whatever. And that's really cool. It's like a leaf. Thing. It's like four leaves that are kind of joined together to make like a little, like a, a Ziploc bag basically <laughs> that's surrounding the seed things inside and that's just, and then once the um, this tree decides to expel its seeds, then the, the leaves start rotting off and they fall off and then the seeds fall off too. And I don't know, that's just my favorite adaptation. Hey, I'm in my sister's room now. Julianne's room, that's her name. Julianne's room. Let's find some more questions quickly because this, oh, I'm filming on a tablet, that's why I'm holding my phone. And it's about to run out of storage because everything I touch runs out of storage. I love Santa.